On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at linkage geometry. I know I've mentioned that before, but we're going to look at some of the practical ways we can adjust the speed and behavior of linkage arms relative to each other, which is really important in the linkage tuning phase of combustion. And to start with, I've got a mod motor set up for a standard 90 degree stroke. I've got the arm lengths the same from the mod motor to the first jack shaft and the arm lengths the same radius length on the second, on the first and second jack shafts. So we can drive that through the range and what we'll see is that we get approximately 90 degrees travel on each of these and they're moving at the same speed and they're basically equal degree changes throughout. And that is the simplest way to set up linkages, but it doesn't always match the flows that we end up getting through our air damper and our butterfly. So we're gonna take a couple opportunities to set this up differently so we can see examples of how we can modify that. So we've gone full open and we'll drive back full closed and our angular values are the same on both jack shafts. So here I've shortened the radius length on the drive arm and left the receiving arm the same length. So what we should see as this modulates upward is that this is going to move at the prior speed, but this arm is actually going to be slowed down. And that's beneficial if equal movement is giving you too much air in relation to the amount of fuel flow that we're getting through the metering valve or oil valve. So let's watch this operate and compare those relative degrees as we go. So at 20 degrees travel on the first jack shaft, we're at about 15 degrees on the second jack shaft. At 40 degrees on the first jack shaft, we're at about 25 degrees on the second jack shaft. And we can see the driving arm continue to travel and because of the difference in the radius length, the receiving arm actually stops. So we end up with a final travel of 80 degrees on the first jack shaft and 40 on the second. And that's good if our air is opening and giving us much more air than we need as we go up the firing range. So in this example, we've left the original radius of the ar driving arm the same, but we've shortened the receiving arm radius. And that's going to cause the second jack shaft to drive at a very accelerated rate. In fact, I'm going to stop the mod motor so we don't over travel on it. Usually we don't make adjustments quite this significant, but for the purposes of the video, we're exaggerating a little bit. So let's let this drive and compare those angles. So we can see in this example, by the time we've moved 50 degrees on the driving arm, we've moved 70 degrees on the receiving arm. And that allows us to open the air damper farther as needed so that we get more air in relation to the fuel. So the options of shortening the driving arm or shortening the receiving arm allows us to make that air damper, in this case, open faster or slower than the fuel, and that helps us coordinate those flow rates. We're going to take another look at the linkages um, and look at the starting positions of the arms, because by adjusting the relative starting positions of two linkage arms, we can make it open faster at first and then decelerate, or we can make a linkage arm open slowly at first and then accelerate. So by adjusting the, the delivering and receiving arm starting angle, we can make some big changes. So let's check that out. If we start with a driving arm almost parallel with the rod and perpendicular to the receiving arm, what you'll notice is that a lot of the initial travel of the driving arm is upward. And that's not a vector that's going to greatly influence the receiving arm. And then as the driving arm gets more vertical, 
more of its, more of its vector of movement is lateral and that's going to drive this much faster and in addition the receiving arm is going to become more perpendicular and it will accelerate even further. So what we'll should see here is a very slow initial movement and a very fast ending movement. And that's beneficial if we've got uh, a lot of excess air at low fire and we need to get it lined up uh, to the full open position when the butterfly is at the full position. So let's watch that operate. So the receiving arm is really hardly moving at all here and the driving arm is moving as expected. Once the arms approach an equal angle, the travel is going to be approximately equal. And as the driving arm approaches vertical and the receiving arm gets more horizontal, we'll see a drastically accelerated finish to the travel. So in this layout, we've got the driving arm vertical, so we're going to get initially a lot of vector towards the receiving arm. And because this is almost aligned with the driving uh, rod there, it's going to spin surprisingly fast as we turn. And this will give us a rapid initial opening of the air damper if it was connected to this. And, and the benefit of that may be that we may have a light off position that's fuel rich for reliability, but the moment we come out of low fire, we want to give it a good amount of air to compensate for that and to get us on track. It is really important that this driving rod never be in direct alignment with the receiving arm because it could flip and travel the wrong direction or jam. So we've got to leave a minimum angle here so that we, we, it doesn't get in that predicament. So let's watch this drive. So we can see how rapidly that receiving arm is driving the jack shaft relative to the driving arm. And as the driving arm approaches alignment with the rod there, its travel is essentially going to stop. So it is important when we use a method like this that we may have to restroke the mod motor or adjust the relationship of these arms so that we get the full 90 degree travel and we don't get any jamming anywhere. So basically these are tools we can use within the limitations of linkages just to improve the relationship of gas and air through the curve as opposed to being good at low and good at high and, and somewhere off in the middle we can put these biases in the linkage to really fine-tune and optimize combustion. Mm -hmm.